Uh, okay, we are now going to do an implant of the uh, gold marker. And I will try to put in one linear marker at the right prostate lobe and one point marker at the left side of the prostate gland. And the first uh, thing I do is that I try to identify the base plane. And it's a rather good image here where we can see the base plane. And that's my zero position. And then we see the prostate gland. And I measure the length down to the apex. And the apex is located exactly 38 millimeters from the base plane. Then I position my uh, ultrasound tip exactly uh, in the middle of uh, the base plane and the apex. And now I'm going to put in uh, the gold marker, the gold anchor marker. And uh, I will use the D2 position. Yes. Uh, we can see the echo from the needle tip exactly here. And now I will make a control exactly where I am. This is the base plane. And this is the apex, 38 millimeters below. And now we are exactly in the middle of these two points. And here is the needle tip. And then I hold the obturator and move the needle out like this. And we can verify that the upper linear marker is located uh, about uh, seven millimeters below the equator and then we can follow the marker down to the apex and we can see the tip very near about one millimeters uh, to the apex plane. Then I go back yes. to the equator and put in the other marker and I will use the H, H2 position. Mm -hmm. I think this uh, position is a little bit too close to the urethra, so I want to just move it a little bit more lateral. Okay, that looks better. So now we can see the left gold marker there and I will do a 
point source. So I I hold the needle fixated and put the operator in like that. And and we can easily see that the marker is here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, exactly in the equator position. And the linear source begins at that position, about four millimeters more caudal in the prostate gland. Okay.